In this video, I'm going to show you how to accurately calculate your City of LA business taxes. Since City of LA taxes you differently on income that's earned within the city and then income that's earned outside the city limits, I'm going to show you how to calculate the appropriate taxable amount so that way you don't overpay for your taxes. There are tons of videos online about the LA City business license and the LA City business tax. In fact, I did a very comprehensive video on this subject and you can find that video by clicking on um, the link above. In that video, I described what the LA City business license is, who needs to get it, what is the tax, and I also described some strategies on what you can do to lower your tax. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your taxable income so that way you don't overpay your taxes for the city of LA. If you're new to our channel, welcome. I'm Aro Ogorian with ACAP Advisors and Accountants. We are a full service wealth management and a CPA firm. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel because the more subscriptions we get, the more opportunities we have to create more useful content like this for you in the future. The purpose of this video is not to go over what the LA City business tax is or the license. You can find more about that in the video I did by clicking above. But what we're going to do today is show you how to calculate the taxable income so that way you don't overpay for your tax. Now, because the City of LA taxes you based on the type of business that you are, for example, if you're a CPA firm, a retail store, or a cannabis business, the tax rates can be different for each of those business businesses and the permutations could be just endless. So today I'm going to give a very basic example of a retail store that sells mugs just to show you how complicated it can get depending on where those mugs are sold and the where the retail store is located. Some business owners think that if you have income earned outside the city of LA that that's that it's excluded from taxation, but that's not the case. If you have income that's earned outside the city of LA, then that income is appropriated based on a few different categories. Now, there are three different categories that business can fall into. They can either have a physical presence in the city of LA and 100% of their income is in the city of LA. They can have a physical presence in the city of LA and some of their income is outside the city of LA. Or they can have a physical presence that's outside the city of LA, and then some of their income is within the city of LA. And I'm going to give detailed examples of each one of those. Okay, let's dive into how to act the actual tax is calculated, and we'll do an example together uh, using those three categories that I mentioned. So let's assume that we have Ararat Industries, which sells coffee mugs with the Armenian flag on it. Now, obviously, I'm a little biased because I am Armenian, so that's why I chose Ararat Industries with the Armenian flag on it. But let's assume that uh, we have this company, it sells mugs, and uh, I'm going to show you examples if, if this RUT industry is within the city of LA or if it's outside the city of LA. And we're going to calculate the LA city business taxable income using those three categories. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to first identify what the business tax rate is for that industry. And we can find that by going to the city of LA uh, finance and then looking at the, uh, the industry that it's in and identify what that, uh, that tax table is. In this case, uh, this, a retail store falls under what's called class four LGR2. That means for every thousand dollars of income, it has to pay $1.27 in tax. So now that being said, now let's calculate the tax for each category. In the first category, we have a physical presence in the city of LA and 100% of sales are within the city of LA. So let's look to see what that looks like. Let's assume that it's got 100% of income in the city of LA, no income outside the city of LA. In this case, the $1 million of retail sales will be taxed at 1.27 for every $1,000, and the total tax would be approximately 1270. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward if they've got a physical presence in the city of LA and 100% of sales are in the city of LA. Now let's get a little more complicated and look at what it, the tax would be if there's no physical presence in the city of LA, but they have sales within the city of LA. So let's assume that this RF Industries has a retail store in the city of Glendale, which is not in the city of LA, but they sell to some people, uh, customers who are in the city of LA. So let's assume $900,000 of their sales occurs outside the city of LA. Remember, they have no presence in the city of LA, but they've got $100,000 of sales that's within the city of LA. And that $100,000 is broken up into different categories, which I explained out because those are the three different uh, categories the city of LA has broken out into. 
if 35% of those gross receipts are from sales to customers located within the city of LA, where the delivery or the shipment is made to points within the city by vehicles operated by the taxpayer, then 35% of those sales are taxed. So what it's saying is, let's say that our industries had a truck and it sold these mugs and it sold them to people within the city of LA and it, sh and it with those trucks that are owned by uh, and operated by uh, our rep industries that deliver to deliver them to people in the city of LA. That means that 35% of those sales will be taxed at that 1.27 tax rate that we talked about earlier. If um, if it's delivered by vehicles other than those operated by a taxpayer, then 30% of those are taxed. So we'll see here 30% of the gross receipts from sales to customers within the city of LA where the delivery or the shipment is made to points within the city by, by vehicles other than those operated by a taxpayer, then only 30% are taxed. So for example, let's say that uh, our up industries, again, is in the city of Glendale. It sells some $25,000 of mugs to someone within the city of LA, but it ships those mugs with a, um, with a, a vehicle that's not owned or operated by our up industries, then only 30% of those, that income is taxed. Now let's look at another example where 30% of the gross receipts from the sales to customers within the city of LA where delivery or shipment is made to points outside the city of LA. So in this case, the customer is in the city of LA, but the mugs are delivered to a location outside the city of LA. So as you can see, it gets really complicated. In that situation, they can appropriate 30%, only 30% of that income is taxable and is taxed at that 1.27 tax rate. Okay, now we're going to get really complicated and look at a business R up industries that sells mugs and they've got a retail store in the city of LA and they've got some sales that are outside the city of LA. Now, this is actually the most common type of business, uh, but the reason why I kept this to the end is because, as you'll see in a minute, it is super complicated based on the nature of the business that occurs outside the city of LA. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so in this case, we have r -Up Industries. They've got a retail store in the city of Los Angeles, and the income that's earned within the city of Los Angeles is $900,000. Obviously, 100% of that is appropriated to the city of LA, and the taxable income is $900,000, so the tax on that would be approximately eleven forty-three. dollars Now, let's assume further that this business has uh, income or income outside the city of LA. Now, depending on the type of income that it earns outside the city of LA, they can exclude a certain portion of that. And I've highlighted and underlined certain things. So if the selling process is performed at a place or a location outside the city of LA, the business may exclude. And then there's eight different categories of what those exclusions could be. I told you earlier, this is, could be really complicated for the most common types of businesses which are in the city of LA and they sell outside. So let's look at each one of them. If up to, they can exclude up to 30% of the income for the location where the sale is located or negotiated or solicited by the taxpayer through the physical presence of the taxpayer or the taxpayer's employees. The way I interpret this is, let's assume RRAP Industries has a retail shop in the city of LA but a salesperson goes to the city of Glendale, which is outside the city of LA, to make the sale. In this situation, let's assume they've got $10,000 of income that, that falls in that category. They can exclude 30% of that income, which means $7,000 of it is gonna be taxable because if they exclude 30%, 30%, 70% is taxable, and it's taxed at that 1.27 tax rate we talked earlier which comes out to $8.89 tax on that income. Now let's look at another category. Up to 20% of the sales could be excluded where the sales office that serves as a base of operations for the sales activities, or if there are no sales office which serves as a base for the operations from the office from, from which the sales activities are directly or controlled, directed or controlled. I interpret this to see at, as our up industries has a sale as a retail sales store outside the city of LA. So let's assume again that um, 
RF Industries has their physical presence in the city of LA, but they've also got a retail store outside the city of LA, and they, they can exclude up to 20% of that income. So if they've got $10,000 of income from that retail store outside the city of LA, they can exclude 20% and 80% or $8,000 of it is taxable at that 1.27 and the taxes comes out to about $10.16. So as you can see, the, the tax rate doesn't change depending on the nature of the sale. It's how much that's, it's how much that's allowable to be excluded. Now let's look at another example. Up to 10% can be excluded for the location where the orders or the contracts are accepted or approved. Such acceptance or approval shall be deemed to take at place of the location of the office specified in item two above, unless there's a clear and conclusive evidence that a binding acceptance or approval occurs elsewhere. I wasn't clear on what a good example of this would be. So I just put in an example of $10,000 of, of income that's earned in that category. We could exclude up to 10% of it. So 90% of it is taxable in the city of LA. And again, that comes out to about $11.43 for that, that income. The next category is you can exclude up to 20% for any facility operated by the taxpayer where the goods or wares or merchandise are stored immediately prior to the shipment of delivery. So what's an example of that? Let's assume our industries has a warehouse that's outside the city of LA and the sales from the mugs from those mugs ship from that warehouse to outside the city of LA. If that's the case for this business, then they can exclude up to 20% of income or sales that occur within that category. So 80% is taxable and again, tax at the 1.27 tax rate. Now up to 5% of income could be excluded for the location which gives an order or for or arranges for the shipment or the delivery of the article sold. <clears throat> Again, I didn't have a good example of what that could be, but up to 5% of those sales could be excluded. And 90, if they had $10,000 of sales in that category, then $9,500 would be taxable income for that. Up to 5% could be excluded for the place where the billing procedures are performed. So let's assume that our industries has their billing department outside the city of LA and has sales outside the city of LA. In that case, then 5% could be excluded. So if they've got $10,000 of income, 5% of that could be excluded. Only 9,500 is taxable. In another category, up to 5% for the can be excluded for the place where the collecting of the receipts is performed. So let's assume our industries has their accounts receivable department outside the city of LA. These would be for the sales for the these would only be for the sales that occur outside the city of LA and whose collections occur outside the city of LA. In those situations, they can exclude up to 5%. So if they've got $10,000 of income that classified in that category, 9,500 would be taxable income to them. And then the last category, they can exclude up to 5% for the place which merchandise is delivered by vehicles operated by the taxpayer. So let's assume RRAP Industries delivers mugs to customers outside the city of LA using vans and cars that are operated by RRAP Industries. So remember, this is a company that has a retail store in the city of LA, but they're delivering mugs to customers outside the city of LA. Then they can exclude up to 5% of those sales. So $9,500 of those $10,000 of sales would be taxable. Again, at the tax rate of 1.27. As I mentioned earlier, you can see this becomes super complicated based on the nature of the sale, how that sale is um, uh, made, how it's delivered, and a number of other different factors. So hopefully you found this explanation and this video useful. And if you did, please find you know please put some comments in the comment section below or if you have any uh, thoughts or comments on how the, this tax is calculated. So I hope you found this video useful in helping you calculate the taxable income for the LA city business tax. As you can see, it becomes super complicated on how to calculate your taxable income. But if you do it correctly, then you can re really reduce your tax liability because that way you're not paying tax on things that you uh, should be appropriating that tax rate for. 
So thank you again for joining me for another edition of the ACAP Recap. Remember to subscribe, like, and share our channel. That way we can provide more useful content for this, like this for you in the future.